Hello friends, greetings, Mari Smith here coming to you live from a glorious sunny day in San Diego, but it is cold, cold for us, right? 60 degrees, ooh, boo-hoo. <laughs> what I would love to talk to you about in this little short live broadcast is links, 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 links. Let us settle this great debate once and for all. Does it make a difference to your reach, your organic reach on Facebook? If you put a link in the comments versus the main post, or you post a link post, a proper link post with the preview, or you try to trick the algorithm and you post a, a photo, right? Upload a photo into business suite or wherever you post and then put a link with the photo. That's not a link post, that's a photo post. Or similarly with a video or a live like this and you put the link in your CTA, your call to action right there in the caption. Or should you put in the first comment? Well, guess what? I have said for years, I do not like the practice of putting on Facebook, this is just Facebook, of putting the link in the comments because the minute someone hits that share button on your post, wherever you post their profile, your page, public group, I suppose, but mainly the page, right? Maybe the profile. The minute somebody shares your post, your link doesn't go with it, right? So you've got like a critical call to action and there's a link there you want people to click on and they're like, it's not going with the shares. So the thing is, guess what? I might be changing my tune because I'm going to share something with you all here. It's a report from Meta, the Meta Transparency Center. <laughs> Meta, I'll give you a sneak peek and then I'll say hello to some folks here. We're going to take a look at this report here, the Meta Transparency Center. I've got it zoomed way up so this you can't see the center there, but I'll, I like it zoomed up so because it's the font's quite small. And I want you to see it on the screen. But I'm going to walk you through some key distinctions in this widely viewed content report. This is a Q3 one, so not that long ago, right? And what people see on Facebook by the Meta Transparency Center. So <laughs> as I said in the description there, I'd like to settle this great debate once and for all. <laughs> because it is, it's a real tricky one, isn't it? Hello, Joy Lynn. Hello, Michelle Woodburn. Good to see you. Hello, Tim in the house. Yes. Hey, Brittany. Oh, great. Your friend tagged you and here you are. Beautiful. And uh, Karen, oh, thank you so much. Super informative by entertaining and engaging. That's very kind of you. And Belinda's here. Beautiful. Welcome in, everybody. And if you're catching the replay, that's great. Uh, so, yeah, I put my glasses on here today. I do wear glasses like many of you. And if you do stream with glasses, the secret is to put the light above eye level. If I tip my head like this, then you're going to see my ring light. I wouldn't want to broadcast like that, and then you're you're not gonna see my eyes if I'm constantly got my head up like that. So anyway, I just find it better. I get eye strain a bit if I don't have my glasses on. So that's what I'm doing here today. Let's dive in. So what the heck does it say? And I will give you the link to this if you haven't seen it already. Uh, really, really interesting, interesting. And a friend of mine, a colleague, a long time renowned colleague who, whose name shall be <laughs> not known, I'm not gonna share it, um, drew this to my attention the other day and he's like, Mari, you know, don't be putting links because this and that and the other and here's the thing and look at this pie chart. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I won't go through all the ultra detail. But there's a few very key things. I wish I could draw on the screen. I love the, the draw tool on, um, Zoom. Today I'm using I'm using uh, eCam. Many of you here use eCam for Macs, right? If you're on a Mac, this is me streaming live. So, but you can probably see my cursor. But I'm just going to draw your attention to this very first chart. Well, first of all, let's 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 just make sure that you know that this is in the U.S. This is um, do, 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 do. yeah, right here. So the widely viewed content report aims to provide more transparency. Thank you very much, Facebook. We do appreciate it, Meta, when you're transparent, yeah. <laughs> and context about what people are seeing on Facebook by sharing the most viewed domains, links, pages, and posts for a given quarter on feed, that's the main news feed, in the United States. So just to really anchor this point, because you're probably... You might be tuning in from another part of the world and that's fine. Let me know in the comments where you are 
watching this from and but it's always interesting to know generally speaking okay what is happening in the u.s and then maybe this is somewhat relevant for some other countries i would say it's fairly relevant to other countries particularly english speaking so that's just to lay that track down we're talking u.s only and this is just q3 but they bring this report out regularly and and they're saying right there we plan to expand the scope of this report in future iterations so it could be that you'll see you know maybe for australia or for the uk or europe so yeah wonderful okay great i love it i love it so let's get down here i'll i'll, I'll get back to my report there hungary i just love doing these webinars or broadcasts or, or just ways that we can all connect and we we end up having the whole the whole room the whole world in the room hello melissa good to see you here and i'm looking way my eyeballs are way down there south carolina which country that's a country <laughs> i love it i love it israel okay beautiful and then we've got australia and uh texas that's great tim beautiful thanks for playing along friends great to have you here so let me get back to my back to my program yes israel beautiful i love it so, okay, so we've got that track laid. We're talking US only, quarter, quarter three, and most widely viewed content, right? That's literally even the name of the report. It's right, widely viewed content. All right, come down, back down to this first pie chart. What we need to take into account, everything from this point below, this purple graph, is specifically talking, I wish I could have a big red pen. I'm gonna have to talk to the ECAM folks. Can we please have an annotator tool and draw on the screen? <laughs> That'd be so awesome. But 0.05, that's half a percent, the most widely viewed content on Facebook in the news feed for the U.S. in Q3. And it, this is generally speaking all quarters. It's not just unique to this quarter. I've seen this time and again that uh, it's only accounting for half a percent. OK, the post that had the most content viewers in the U.S. represented a small fraction of all content views simply because the newsfeed is very, very customized. So it's half a percent. So all other posts are 99.95. So, so this Transparency Center report by Meta is picking out that half a percent, and that's, that's what we're drilling down on. Now, that is why I want us all as marketers, as business people, as entrepreneurs, to somewhat, somewhat, take this report with a little wee pinch of salt, a little wee grain or two of salt, because it's like, unless you're one of these mega giant, like meme type pages and you're, you're kind of like fitting into this little half a percent, well then it, this report may not, you know, the, the findings of this report may not necessarily be fully relevant to you. And that's really the point I want to drive home uh, in this. So terminology, I'm going to skip on down all through that. And then it's going to show us what a typical feed looks like. Okay, so so they're showing us um, a lot of the views. Seventy six percent, seventy six and a half percent of views came from posts shared by people's friends, from groups people had joined or pages they had followed. Well, of course, right? That makes sense. That's really where else could posts come from. Of the remaining twenty three and a half percent. Uh, it came from feed recommendations. That's the whole thing where Facebook and Instagram, the whole meta family of apps are moving towards blatantly copying TikTok is this new AI machine learning algorithmically controlled feed recommendations, otherwise known as a discovery engine or a recommendation engine. And that is where you've all seen it from the user end and both Instagram and Facebook, where all of a sudden you're seeing content. You're like, why do I keep seeing this? Post? I don't follow that person. I don't follow this page. Why am I seeing that? That is because the AI is trying to know you like TikTok does. It's trying to know you better than your mother and your spouse and your best friend and your dog and your kids all put together. <laughs> I'm being facetious. I'm feeling, I'm feeling punchy today. It feels like a Friday. I was just leading a crap class earlier this morning and I, and I was telling my students that, you know, that song, um, you know, that song, uh, school's out for summer. Well, for the last, the last 24 hours, the, the, the version, Mari's version of that song has been flying through my head for 24 hours with the school's out for winter, school's out for winter, because that was my last class for the year. And I'm, and so I'm, I'm getting ready for the holidays. <laughs> so I'm just feeling punchy. So anyway, but yeah, so that's the, the whole idea with this algorithm, this AI is supposed to know you so well, it's going to recommend content 
All right. And then some other things that seeing less common products, events and log what are you, logging discrepancies. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. That's what they're calling unconnected posts. So that's where you get these totally random. What? Why am I saying that? But you know, when they get it right, when they get the recommendation, right, it's actually kind of cool. I love discovering new stuff. Right. So, so anyway, so you've got here, uh, just under 30%, the, the majority of it is from an original, an original friend, original pose from a friend. And then 16% uh, here is from a group. Uh, you go unconnected, friend, reshare, page follower, and other. Now, coming on down a bit further, there's the topic du jour that I wanna have us all put our marketer hats on and, and be, did I freeze someone saying I froze? Am I frozen? I think I'm still streaming. It looks like it's still streaming to me. Yeah. I think it's still streaming. Maybe just was a temporary glip, glick, glitch. <laughs> so look at that, friends. Holy mackerel. 92.3 of these widely, remember, we're only talking about half a percent, half a percent of all the content. All that half percent, 92.3, does not have a link. Only 7.7% .7 has a link. When they say attached, they, as far as I understand it, they're talking about a specific link post or a photo with a link or a video with a link. It's because, wait a minute, let's read this together. Where most feed views come from. Whoopsie, scroll back up. 92.3% as it shows in that big chunk of the pie chart of the views in the US Q322 and two did not include a link to a source outside of Facebook. For the 7.7% .7 of views in posts that did include a link, they typically came from a page the person followed. This includes posts which may also may also have had photos and videos in addition to links. So there's the clarification right there. So even when we think we're tricking the algorithm, let's do a photo post with a link or a video post with a link. Eh, the algorithm's like, yeah, that's a link. That's still a link post. Anyway. I, you know, cause I've, I've been trying just like all of you, I've been trying to, you know, we're always trying to hack the algorithms and find a workaround, and get more reach. And, and I love to just keep testing and testing. I get in there and get in the trenches. So watch this next table down here. This is specifically, um, groups. See that? So posts with a link, this is content seen in the feed. Um, 0.4% had a link of posts from groups that you've joined. 16% had a new link. So that's important to see. And then there's uh, pages. Uh, it's a little bit higher actually. So groups, so definitely, definitely no groups. Cause you know, probably why with groups is like, you'll see questions or like the colored background or people looking for recommendations or just people having conversations. So that's probably why you're seeing more content like that without a link in the, in the feed from groups you've joined. But pages, yeah, you know, we're, listen, we're running a business here. We want to drive our traffic somewhere to people to take action and sign up and get people over to our blog or our website or offer or lead magnet page, whatever it might be. So at least we're seeing, okay, fine, post with a link, 3%, new link, 7.5. And then we come down here and I will pop this. I'm sure many of you are wanting, don't go anywhere just yet, but I will put this link right here <laughs> for you if you, in case you have to, to bounce. But um uh, yeah. Oh, and I see a quick comment here because I'm going to answer this one right now. And Bobby's asking, does that include putting links into the comments of the post? No, it does not. The comments is not. It's only the link in the body, in the caption, in the description, either a full link post with the preview or a video post with a link or a photo post with a link. Does that include putting comments, uh, uh, putting the link in the comments? So that is a strategy you might want to try. And I just recently started testing that out myself. That would be one takeaway from this little broadcast for you all is to potentially decide, you know, that you're going to, you're going to start doing that as a strategy. I'm giving it a little whirl and test it myself too, to just see, all right, does this make a difference? Am I going to get more reach? Now, again, remember I just said a minute ago about taking all this with a little pinch of salt, because we're only talking about half a percent of all the feed, but of course there's billions, zillions of, of content, right? So it's still a lot. News domains in the list accounted for about half a percent, but the top 20 domains are collectively counted for 1% of all feed content views in the U.S. Yeah, 1%, fine, uh, in the U.S. Okay, 
top 20 domains collectively. Okay, sometimes these things are confusing. You've got to read it five ways from Sunday. <laughs> Widely viewed domains. But isn't it shocking that YouTube, Facebook's great enemy, Facebook's great competitor when it comes to video anyway. YouTube's not a social network really. But certainly when it comes to video, streaming video, watching video, that, you know, the shorts are doing really well with YouTube shorts, etc. It's more of a lean back experience versus, you know, people tend to scroll, watch a little bit on Facebook, but, you know, they, they watch longer on YouTube typically. So, but I just think it's interesting. The number one URL, the number one domain is YouTube, followed by a GIF. That's that's a, a GIF, media one dot tanner. that's GIFs. GoFundMe, I was kind of kind of cool. I was kind of happy to see that GoFundMe is in the top three because that's for fundraisers. But look at that, another giant competitor of uh, Meta. I'm sure Zuckerberg's not happy about these with YouTube and TikTok being in the top five most shared domains, okay? And then there's Twitter down there. Um, so, so you can carry on reading some of that if you want. And then they've got some widely viewed links here as well, which are interesting. You know, here's one about Elon Musk, of course, is the top one in Q3. And, but then what I want to draw your attention to is, wow, because here's what we're talking about. If your page isn't this, if, if your page wouldn't kind of be one of these types of pages, I honestly, my personal perspective, interpretation, recommendation is you, you've, you've really got to test what works for your page. Like I'm doing right now, I'm trying out. Does it make a difference if instead of putting the link in the, like I, I've typically for, for a long time, I do link post now and again, but I've typically will do a video post with a link or a live with a link or uh, an image post with a link. And then now I'm like, cause I always, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you missed that little piece of hair is bugging me. <laughs> um, that as soon as, if you put a link in the comments, as soon as someone tries to share the post, your link doesn't go with the post. So that's why I've never been a fan of doing the link in the comment, but now I'm trying it. I'm just trying it. So back to this list of the widely viewed pages, that's what I'm saying. Would you think that YouTube and TikTok and GIF sites are all in the top most viewed domains? It's gotta be coming from meme pages. These are what I call meme pages. Totally the bomb, 120 million. I mean, I, I've heard a lot Bible. You know a lot I've heard of. Um, there's a lot Bible Australia. Netflix memes, 95 million. I mean, look at this. So these are in the, you know, tens of millions, some even over 100 million. Many of them, actually. Vast majority over 100 million. So this is where it's like, okay, wait a minute. Back up to the very top of this widely viewed content, does this really affect me and my business? And if I have 5,000 followers or 10,000 or a hundred thousand, you know, um, and you're, you're up there comparing your page against see these pages with a hundred million followers of this is the kind of stuff that people go on and look at frequently and they they see it. And then it also even gives you the most widely viewed posts. This is the, <laughs> the top viewed post <laughs> on Facebook in Q3 in the US had 65 million views on a page called Places I'd Rather Be. I can't believe I've gone my entire life not realizing the major interstates are in numerical order. I guess a lot of people didn't know that and connected. So whatever, you know, just, just silly meme posts. You can see their videos. A lot of them will be videos, a lot of videos. So that is a good takeaway. That's certainly a good takeaway is to see, you know, we might want to definitely be doing more video posts, video posts without a link, video posts potentially with a, a, a link in the call to action in the comments. Okay, friends. So let me just see if I can take a few questions here because, uh, I think that's, that's, um, the general gist of what I'm trying to convey to you is test, test, test on your own page. This widely viewed content report is applicable to half a percent of all content seen in the feed in the US in quarter three. It's, it's, tip, it's fairly typical. This is not like new because I've seen some of these reports before in previous years and they, you know, YouTube's always up there, that lad Bible, like all these different meme pages, you know. Jack's in the house, hello there. All right, so what else do I have? Hi, Lori. 
Why do they even allow it? No wonder magazines articles get zero views. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. It's really sad to me when I see, and I see, you know, clients will come to me and they're, they're like, I'm trying to drive traffic to my blog. We post, a, we post all our blog posts on Facebook. It doesn't get any reach. And I go and I look and all they do is link posts. That's a big no-no, quite frankly. That's a big no-no. I'm going to fix my glasses so that piece of hair stops bugging me. <laughs> I just had my hair cut yesterday. <laughs> Um, so if you, if you have, and everybody here, we're all, you know, marketers, business people, entrepreneurs, whatever the deal is, or you work for a company, right? That you, you want to drive your, your audience somewhere. You want to share links, but the thing is you want to mix it up and do a variety of posts, post formats, do like I'm doing here a live without a link. Uh, you can do a video post without a link, a photo post without a link. I do really like those colored background posts, you know, and you can find those real easy in Business Suite or Creative Studio or whatever you're using. You can't, the colored background ones are not uh, native. You you can't get in there and, and do that um, on a third party. Um, let me just bring up my uh, Meta Business Suite, make sure I'm not sharing anything I don't want to. So in here, you know, you all, hopefully everybody's seen this. If I'm just gonna go, um, what is your favorite? I don't know. I'm just making up a something so they've got it there. Like if you could just, you could try every now and again, you could try just a straight text post, plain and simple, that's it. Boom. A question or a meme or a statement or whatever it might be. And you know, um, yeah, quote. But I would recommend throwing in one of these color backgrounds. I really wish they'd give us more choice. I, I think that, I think that they have, different ones depending on what country you're in. Cause I've seen somewhere I'm like, wait, oh, that's a really cool one. And then I go to find it and I'm like, ah, I don't have access to that one. Where's the holiday ones, hey? Where's the holiday themed ones? And you click on it, it takes a second and it, and it refreshes, you know? And so occasionally doing one of those, I'm saying occasionally, there's some pages I've seen that almost always do that kind. But that's a great one to try. And then periodically, then you'll intersperse with your link post or a photo or a video post with a link. So that's, uh, that's what to do. Um, Laurie's saying, I wonder what happens if you use the link in Facebook stories. You know, that's a good question because it seems that, that, that well, not seems, it absolutely is that this transparency report is, is all feed posts. So I wonder if they, they've done any forensics on links and stories. I don't entirely know. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, you're saying our customers can't seem to find the photo album without a link to it in each sale. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's tricky. It's not always obvious to have a, of where to, to find content on Facebook, even like it looks obvious to us, you know, but it's not always available for people to, or if they're watching on mobile and they don't know how to get to it. Ah, Laurie, what are you saying? What about the uh, using the no-no words like link below, details and comments? Yeah, that's getting into, you're right. That's getting into what Facebook calls um, uh, engagement bait. They have a variety of different baits, right? There's there's clickbait, of course, where you're you're trying to trick people into clicking something. But um, it's not, you know, there's the disconnect. What you're saying, they're going to click on you. They get there and it's totally bait and switch. So they want the clickbait. But the, the engagement bait, you know, let me see if I can try to find that real quick. Engagement bait, Facebook. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, how do I, yeah, perfect. Here, I always like to go straight to the source. Um, okay, here we go. Here's here's where Facebook talked about it, of what uh, Lori's talking about. So this is, uh, and I'll, I'll share that link if anybody's uh, interested. Oh, to avoid posting engagement bait on Facebook. If I don't do it now, I might forget to come back to it. But uh, there you go, friends. So an engagement bait is a tactic that urges people to interact with Facebook posts through likes, shares, comments, and other actions in order to artificially boost engagement and get greater reach. So it's not like you'll be, you know, demoted. It just means you won't get seen as high in the feed. But, but they're saying like, you know, asking, yeah, you sure, so sure enough, asking people to react to the post. Sometimes you'll see meme pages doing this like as a way of voting, you know, um, like if, if you want A and love, if you want B, that, that kind of thing, that's reaction baiting. 
comment baiting asks people to comment with specific answers. Now, the sad thing about this is that, that let me zoom in just a smidge there so we can see it easier, is that, uh, you know, Facebook even offers for free inside Messenger automation they offer the ability for you to set up a comment trigger where if you ask your audience, hey, comment with, you know, hey, I'm launching a new program. Just comment with the word interested or yes, or, um, you know, I'm in or whatever the word or phrase might be. And then it sends them a DM with the link. That's a great strategy to use if you have a chat bot um, on Instagram or Facebook. But uh, it's really, you know, it's crazy when Facebook's like going like this. But... It's almost like there's a fine line, a fine difference between just asking people to remember this is all engagement bait. If you're just, you're trying to get more comments, engagement bait. See how earlier when I asked you, tell me what, what city you're from. That's, that's a, a very natural way of having people comment. You can totally do that. What time is it in your part of the world? Or, you know, um, what did you have for breakfast? I don't know. Just fun conversation starters that are feeling authentic to you and your audience versus as they say, like trying to just bait the algorithm. Share baiting is like constantly asking people. And a lot of these, by the way, is if you're constantly saying like, you know, uh, I won't repeat it too much. I was just about to share an example. And I'm like, whoopsies, you know, they're listening. The AI is going to go, uh-oh, demote this live from Ari. But yeah, if you're just constantly asking people to do these things and then tag baiting, ask people to tag their friends, vote baiting. There's that vote one I just mentioned, you know. And so that's about it. Mm, that's about it. So, so, so let me come back to the original question, which was about no, no words. Yeah, I don't think that that's a no, no. I don't think it's a no, no to say link below or details and comments. I, I don't think that that's an engagement bait thing at all. And, and of course, Aurora, listen, absolutely links can go into the post. They, they, they absolutely can. What I'm suggesting to you today in conjunction with taking a glance and with a pinch of salt <laughs> of this half a percent of widely viewed content is to test on your own page. And definitely the, the best strategy really going into 2023, this is part of what I teach in my, my F-bomb program, F-B-O-M-M, -M, Facebook Organic Marketing Masterclass. We just finished season four a few weeks ago, um, is to just is to really focus a little bit more on video and definitely um, some landscape, some vertical, Try reels, but also try just vertical video on the main wall, just as a vertical video, not as a reel. On Facebook, everything on Instagram is a reel. No matter what you upload it, it's automatically converted to a reel. I don't think they'll ever do that on Facebook um, because there's a variety of formats, right? And then try the color background, try questions, try just a photo with no link, just a video with no link, and then periodically a link post and periodically a photo or a video with a link, okay? So that's my recommendation for today. And then, yeah, and Angela, you're asking this similar question, uh, which we already had, but that's fine. What about saying see link below? It's not about deterring, Angela, good good question. It's not so much about deterring, as, they, as the, the Facebook used in this little engagement bait article here, they used the word demote. It just means it doesn't get quite as much reach, you know? And sometimes all we can do is try, right? And it's like, it's not like, well, here's another thing, by the way, here's a really cool thing you could do. Watch this. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bear with me one quick second, because I will go, I will go like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, I'll show you real time. This is kind of cool. Most of you know about this, but some of you might not. I'm going to show you inside a business suite, but it is also available in Creator Studio. In Creator Studio, it's called Post Testing. I'm just zooming in a bit so it's not so tiny. In Business Suite, it's really not obvious. If you didn't know this was here, I'm here to show you because it's not obvious. You can do what's called A-B testing, and it's this tiny little science beaker icon. It says A-B test. So, but see how it's telling me, I can't do an A-B test with the background color. So I've got to remove that. So I'm just going to go and take it off. And then I click this little guy and see how it's telling me. I can create up to four, I think it just said four versions. Yeah, it is, it's four versions. And you can create video with video and only video with video. And then you can create uh, text, photos, or links. So a text post with a photo post with a link post. And the super cool thing of this testing 
is that as it says, you know, it's going to, each person's going to be shown to a different group of your followers for about 30 minutes to determine the top performer. So Facebook's going to do the work for you. So that would be a really fun thing to, you know, not necessarily every single time that you do a post, but you can just keep testing and iterating and refining where you get to the point and go, wow, okay, it's pretty conclusive. When I post just a photo and I put the link in the comments, that gets better reach. Or you can, you might find, wow, when I do a video post with a caption, uh, a call to action button, uh, excuse me, call to action and the link in the caption, that does best, great. I'm gonna go with more of those. Not all the time, but anyway, that's the tool I would do. So hopefully that's a really great takeaway for everybody here today is that's what I would recommend doing is using that nifty little A-B test. You can do up to four, super cool. All right, so what else we got? Thomas, you're saying the link is not working. What link was that? Oh, the transparency. No, really? I wonder if some countries, I wonder what country you're in, uh, Thomas. Facebook does that or Meta, right? They're monkeys. It could be that this page is not visible to to every country. Well, that's crazy. If that's the link you're talking about, I, I didn't really post that many links. I think just that one and the help one. Hmm. And let me go back over here. Oh, right, Michelle. Yeah, I end up posting the same link several times in comments. Susie can't seem to see the link. I just decided. Like, well, mm, there might be a ninja setting that Mari has for you. Let me just double check you here. Mm -mm -mm. Could help. This might be helpful for others. We're in a similar boat. Let's see. No, 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 no. That's not what we want. Oh yeah, no comment moderation. Where I'm looking for is, yeah, perfect. Let's see if I can share this. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Okay, here we go. Try this, Michelle, if you haven't done it already, and this might be helpful to others too. You're going to go into your page settings, come on down to uh, general. It's, it's already, it just lands on general, the very first setting, general. Come on down to, oh, I just had it where my eyeball go. Comment ranking, all the way down here. Comment ranking. I know it's small on the screen, but it's going to be um, comment ranking. I'm trying to do one more zoom up. And and uh, where I have my most relevant comments are shown by default, but you could, if you take that off, it means that instead of most relevant, they'll be, they'll be in um, chronological order. If the setting is not checked, your page will display the most recent comments first. So that's a nifty little ninja setting for you to, to play with. All right, so that's there. Let's see what else we got here that can help you with today. Aurora, I love your name. I stopped putting links in posts because I found that Facebook refused to share those posts. Ah, I'm not surprised. But now I'm saying that it's good to put links in posts. That is not quite, no. And, and I know you're, I'm going backwards to answer questions. I've, I've kind of already addressed that. Test, put them in posts sometimes, put them in the comments other times, use the A-B testing. I, I know I'm working my way backwards through questions. Um, right, and, and Melissa, it's not my favorite way to do it because if you have a post that potentially is going, you think that potentially could get some good shares, then it's not that the link is not going to go with the post. That's so that's my only um, the only thing. Now you're also saying the link is not working. Are you saying that the link? Are you all saying that the link to this report is not working? That is random. That's weird. Did I? I don't think I typed it in wrong. Maybe is it, is it got something missing on the end? Come on, you monkeys. What's the dealio here? Facebookies. They're messing with us. Mm, no, I'm just rereading it here. No. Is it correct link? But I, I don't I don't know if that's one you're saying. Sorry, folks. I'll have to come back and look at that. Thank you for your nice comment. Laurie. Uh you're saying okay, so let me get over to this. 
Uh, you're having a lot of success with posting blog posts with articles on LinkedIn that hyperlink back to the original blog post from the website. There you go. You see, LinkedIn doesn't doesn't squelch us. Wait, I think I have two comments up there. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, nice, nice. Thank you, LinkedIn. <laughs> and Inga, thank you. Sharing the link in the comment strategy. If somebody shares your post with a link in the comment, the link wouldn't be visible in a shared post. What's the point of having a link in the comment if nobody will land on that link anyway? Oh, uh, Inga, that, no, no. Okay, I hear, I hear what you're saying. Um, you can absolutely put a link in the comment because all of your original followers that do see the post, which is going out in the feed potentially as a non-link post, which is a potentially more chance of being seen, then it's really more for you're speaking more to your own followers as opposed to the people that might share the post. So it's like this catch 22, right? If, um, if it's a link post or a post with a link, then it might not get as much reach then. So then you might not get as much shares on it anyway. But then if it's not, it doesn't have the link, the link is in the comments and you got a lot of shares, then your link's not going. It's just, it's one of those. That's why I said, you know, let's settle this debate once and for all. Uh oh, I'm so sorry. The truth of the matter is that we really can't set, settle the debate. There's no one prescriptive de facto do this and you'll get these results. It's always been like that on Facebook. Always from the day they opened the platform. You got to just test and see what works. What works for one page, one business will not work for another. Some people get amazing reach, amazing engagement. Others don't. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Kate, you're asking off topic. Where did the insights tab go? Sounds like you're probably on the new, new pages experience. The tab where you can see where other pages pop posts were. Love sharing up his content. You might, I wonder if you can find that in Meta Business Suite now. I thought I literally just saw it go by. Yeah, I might have just seen it go by. Mm. No, no, I saw something different. Hmm. Well, if somebody knows the answer to that question, feel free to chime in. I actually don't, I don't know. But oh, oh, maybe it's under feed. Is that it's now under the whole thing that you've got called uh, pages feed, and then you like a page as your page, and you go to the news feed. It's the top thing that you see. Oh, but no, maybe you're talking about pages to watch. I bet, I bet you're talking about maybe the pages to watch feature. Yeah, bummer. Um, try this. So you see where it's right there. It says news feed. I'm still on the classic pages, so maybe it, maybe it's different, but that's where I'm I'm seeing it. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you, <laughs> Lori? You're funny with that hashtag. Um, yeah. So Melissa, vertical video as a post does not it does not turn it into a reel automatically. No, not on Facebook, Instagram, hundred percent. Uh, Facebook it has to be like you have to use the reels creator or a uh, mobile or in business suite or creator studio and specifically say, you know, that this is, this is a reel and going into the reels, the reels, um, feed, but, um, something kind of interesting. I had posted about this a while ago. Let me see if I can find the post for you. It might be still very worthwhile for you to try this as a strategy. One second, friends, I'm going to just bring it up. It's a couple months ago and, uh, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. Perfect. So watch this. Actually, I think I'm going to grab that URL. Um, of course, Facebook is to me as a watch platform. I don't want it as a watch platform. Uh, whatever I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you as a watch platform video link. Um, okay. So here, here's what I'm talking about. Go back to my share. So many buttons to click this. I posted back in September, September 15. And yes, that's a filter because I don't like myself without filters on Instagram because the camera's not very flattering. <laughs> I don't know. I just love the one with the lashes, but so here was, here was the trick. Let me, let me just uh, freeze frame myself. Uh, are Facebook Reels working for you just now? If so, awesome. If not, here's a little hack you might try. And this was given to me by someone who manages a page 
with almost a million followers. And he said unequivocally, when he posted a vertical video and just shared as a regular video, not a reel, he was getting in significantly more reach, engagement, comments, shares, you name it. Incredible reach and engagement right now. Just publishing a regular vertical video, you know. And this one actually did well. This one actually got a little bit, quite a bit more reach. Now here's a trick though. You wanna make it short, anywhere between a minute and three minutes. Ideally highly shareable, highly shareable, highly relevant, not a pitch, not trying to sell something. And then, you know, just getting some reach and engagement, then you can always try to sell something or in your next post. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other questions? Wow, Allison, this is really interesting. She says, I've been popping links in, in clients' posts for the last two years now. We don't see a decrease in reach. In fact, we find people click more. Putting links in the comments can get lost. Wow, I'm so glad you shared that, Allison. To my point exactly, we are not going to quote settle this debate because it really does depend on everyone's individual page. Um, so yeah, I love that you're experiencing that. It sounds like you do social media for for your clients. Yeah, Bobby, so so the color background, if you make it in Canva, that's going to be an image post. It'll be an image post, which is fine. You can do that. But I'm talking about using also as a different type of post is using the color background that Facebook offers so that it's then actually read as a text post. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Angela. Use the pointing downward arrow. Mm hmm Well... Lori, I know you're cute. She says Meta needs to make up its mind, link or no link in your post. I think they've never, they, I think they've never wanted us to have uh, links in the post. They don't want people leaving Facebook, the bottom line. On desktop, you're going to go to a new browser, a new tab. On mobile, which about 60% of all the Facebook users, of which there's just under 3 billion, access the platform predominantly on mobile devices, right? So it's like two thirds, roughly two thirds. And you, everybody here knows that when you tap a link on mobile, you don't leave the Facebook app. You have to go in there, it's like three little dots or something. You have to literally finagle it to get out of Facebook and go looking in your browser because it's like a baked in browser that pops up and overlays across the app. And then you, you know, can interact with the website and then carry on scrolling. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? Uh, Lori is asking. Great interaction, Lori. I appreciate all your comments and questions. Uh, Lori saying, Mari, when you showed us the post testing feature, there was a place there for link preview. Maybe that works better. Yeah, I mean, you can absolutely do that. That's what I'm saying. You could try. Uh, I think I don't. I think I shut that browser window. But yeah, you can. You can. Um, well, wait a minute. Just open that back up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Precisely. Yeah. Let me bring it back up. You could absolutely do version A without a link. Version B, let me just, I'm just going to put a link preview. This is optional. Add a link to see the image that will appear in your post. Now, I don't know why it's not coming up. It should right away, let me put the W's in, whatever. And it should give me a little preview. Add a new version. So it can do up to four, remember? And, uh, but this one, like this one, watch this, I could go like this and say, okay, this one, I'm going to say no link preview. So that's a link without the preview. Maybe I do the photo instead, right? There'll be a photo post with a link. This will be a link preview post. This will be a no link post. And, you know, just, just test them all side by side. Okay, dokie. Great, great way to try it. Just give it, give it a whirl and try it, try to test it out. And it does, it only goes to a portion of your audience. At a time to, to see, you know, how, how it works. Oh, wow. Lori's saying it works for her. It's so weird how it's working for some folks and not others. Hmm. Oh, Jovita, Jovita, Jovita. You're saying some gurus say that if you add links on posts, that's spamming. I want to talk to these gurus that you're hearing from, because I, I, I will take issue with that. That is absolute BS. Absolute BS. It is not spamming. We've always been able to well, unless somebody really is a spammer and they're just going crazy with spam links. But listen, we're in business here. We've got to be able to send people somewhere unless people just 
buy from you in the DM box or something, but we've, we've got to be able to send our audience or invite, invite our audience members to connect with us outside of Facebook, you know, your own website or to opt in or to buy or whatever it might be. So no, that is not the deal. <laughs> Lots of Facebook monkeys are on, I know. Hello, Clay. Great to see you as always. Um, whoopsies, let me just jump there. Yeah, Gina, good point. I think if it's interesting content, people will click over to a page to find out more. I absolutely agree. If it's great content, people will put your page on their favorites. They'll turn notifications on. They'll sign up to your email. They'll join your group. I mean, that's the secret right there, right? It's just to provide such exceptional value that's specific to what your audience is looking to learn from you. And then you're right. They, they will engage more. Hi, Michelle, love. I'm liking your carrot. <laughs> I've been trying it both ways for sure. I get fewer clicks when I put the links in the comments. Wow. Yep. Interesting. Hi, Adair. What you saying? What you got for us here? Comment ranking is buried. Ah, got it. Right. Because I was showing you all in um, classic pages. So if your page is now on the new pages experience, then you have to do what Adair is sharing. Adair is my, my Facebook moderator, manager. Uh, go to privacy and settings, then settings, then privacy, then public post and comment ranking. <laughs> Thank you, Adair. Hey, Stephanie, you got it, love. Okay, great. Oh, oh, Laurie, thank you. You have to put the full HTTP, HTTPS, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash. Yeah, I just thought it would give me a, I thought it would give me a proper preview. I know, they're always messing with things. I guess, you know, truth be told, that will show up with its preview. It's just, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. They don't have the room right in here to show you what it looks like. N none of the formats is showing me what it looks like. Possibly when I save it and, 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 you know, go ahead and get it ready to publish, then it's going to give me a little sneak preview of what it's supposed to look like. So that makes sense. Um... <laughs> You're welcome, Ovita. Rehan, hello. Wonderful to see you. <laughs> a homegrown care. I thought it was. Oh, I just love to see. I love to see uh, home home gardening. We need to all be growing our own food at some point, right? Or at least supporting those who do or buying local, supporting our <laughs> local farmers. Laura, you're saying it's, oh, it's wonky. It's wonky with the link previews. I know that's a great word. Wonky, wonky donk. Okay, so beautiful. I think we're at the end of our time together. I've got to scoot off in the remaining tiny little bit of daylight. You can see the bright, beautiful sunshine out there. I got to get my body outside in the sun, even though it's chilly. It's chilly, chilly, chilly. All right, last question. I got to ask you, what is the temperature in your part of the world right now? I will tell you it is 58 degrees, which for inland... North, I'm in northeast San Diego County, so not at the coast. It might be even, uh, I wonder if it's cool, cool at the coast, 58 degrees. I'll tell you in Celsius too, too. Celsius, just change it, 14. 14 degrees Celsius, 58 Fahrenheit in San Diego right now. 58, 59, something like that. And where is it like at the beach? Sometimes I put the beach in here, but I don't think I have it. Like Carlsbad or something. Carl's bad. Oh, 59. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One degree warmer at the beach. That's cold. But this winter, that's our winter. You got 68, Michelle? Where are you? 68, nice and toasty. Wait, I thought you were on the East Coast. A muggy 73 in Texas. Wow, interesting. Lindell, where are you? 74? 74? Wowzers. 45 in St. Louis. You probably got some snow. Kimberly, 58 in Neosho, Missouri. Oh, dear, I'm jealous. <laughs> you got your summer, though. You got your summer in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> We're having our winter. Kimberly's got 45. Minus 3 Celsius in London. Ouch, Inga, that's chilly, hey? Good morning, Lisa. 30 degrees Celsius in the, trop the tropics. Ah, lucky you. Enjoy your summer, you Aussie friends. <laughs> 11 degrees in... Uh, 
and and the North Dakota those right yeah oh Jacksonville Florida right right Michelle I I, I knew you were on the east Angela is fifty Lori says forty eight in Northern Vermont too warm really bring all the snow <laughs> are you a skier oh South Carolina okay yeah it dropped a little well I am actually going. In about what time, what day, what day is it? The 21st. On the 21st, I am going to be get on a plane and going up to BC, Canada, where I'm originally from. My parents are 100% Scottish. They were both born in Scotland. And then they met and married and had their family in Canada. So I'm Canadian by birth, Scottish by heritage. And back in June, I decided after 23 years in the United States, I should go ahead and become a citizen. So I am a tri-national. I'm Canadian, Scottish, and American. The three passports. But I am going to be going up to BC and having Christmas uh, with my mamacita. So that's exciting. So brrr, I'm getting my winter woolies out. Definitely, definitely have some nice warm, warm uh, weather. So with that, my friends, have a most blessed holidays. If I don't speak to you before and got any questions, let me know anything I can help you with. I am going to go ahead and pop a little link in here for my social scoop group. If you're not already a member, uh, um, join us in social scoop group and we'll see you there thank you aurora i appreciate that yep robin hi love bella vista sydney 18 degrees celsius it's chilly for this time of the year very good oh you're <laughs> savvy that's awesome she says i love your accent i'm 1 16th scottish that is so cool hi Lynn. good to see you love all right. Have a good one. I better dash off. Take good care. Much love. We'll see you again the next time or in the group or whoever. <laughs> yeah, there's an instant replay, Carly. This automatically, as soon as I hit stop streaming, there's an instant replay right here wherever you're watching this. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. A pleasure. My pleasure too. Take care, friends. Bye for now. <laughs>